The National Liberation Army Arabic, Jish al Thrir al Ni Alibi Jaysh al Tahrir al Watani al Libi, formerly known as the Free Libyan Army, was a Libyan military organization affiliated with the National Transitional Council, which was constituted during the Libyan Civil War by defected military members and civilian volunteers, in order to engage in battle against both remaining members of the Libyan armed forces and paramilitia loyal to the rule of Muammar Gaddafi. It had prepared for some time in portions of eastern Libya controlled by the anti-Gaddafi forces for eventual full-on combat in western Libya against pro-Gaddafi militants, training many men before beginning to go on the offensive. They have battled for control of Benghazi, Misrata, Brega, Idabia, Zawiya and Ras Lanif as well as several towns in the Nafusa Mountains. They finally began the battle for Tripoli in August 2011 when they attacked from the west of the city, as well as fomenting an internal uprising on 20 August. There were claims that there were 8,000 soldiers in Benghazi equipped with a substantial number of weapons captured from abandoned Libyan army depots, including AK-47 and FN FAL rifles, RPGs, springs, anti-aircraft guns and several tanks. The force was formerly named the Free Libyan Army, but it was changed at the end of May 2011 to help better define the increasingly professional and disciplined military efforts to overcome the Gaddafi regime according to a statement released by the National Transitional Council. It uses the tricolor flag first adopted by Libya in 1951, which has become emblematic of the Libyan Republic and the revolt against Gaddafi, considering that the flag is the same sign of Libya's independence and freedom from the Italian occupation. The NLA finally succeeded in defeating the last pro-Gaddafi remnants on 20 October 2011, during heavy fighting in Sirta, and captured Muammar Gaddafi himself, who later died of bullet wounds after his capture, effectively ending the Libyan civil war. The current status of the organization following the Libyan provisional government's declaration of liberation is unclear. Topic. 2011 transitional period and restructuring As of November 2011, the National Transitional Council is in the process of restructuring the army, with military personnel who defected from the Gaddafi regime and former rebel fighters of the National Liberation Army forming the basis as the new Libyan National Army. Major General Khalifa Belgassim Haftar was chosen as the overall commander of the new Libyan army due to his military experience and loyalty to the revolution that overthrew Gaddafi. The Libyan army only numbered a few thousand trained soldiers in November 2011, and was rapidly trying to train up new fighters who could keep the peace nationwide and deter rogue militias from acting without NTC orders, and was responsible for brokering a ceasefire on at least one occasion in November between warring militias from Zawiya and Al Maya. On 1 December 2011, it was reported that the National Liberation Army was to integrate up to 50,000 former rebel fighters into the new Libyan National Army and Police Forces, with the aid of French training, with long-term aims to integrate as many as 200,000 fighters from the brigades that had fought against Gaddafi during the Civil War. In December 2011, Turkey agreed to provide training the Libyan Army as it attempted to reorganize in the aftermath of the Civil War. Also in December, large numbers of former rebels were being given jobs in the new army, whilst the government also announced that they would be free to join the special forces and the navy too. According to Osama al-Jawali, the defense minister, the idea is to inject new blood in the army which was marginalized by the tyrant Gaddafi. General Yusuf Mangouche said on 5 January 2012 that Libya's new army faces major obstacles such as rebuilding bases destroyed during the conflict, as well as disarming militias that were not part of the new army. National Army Commander General Khalifa Hifter said later that it could take between three and five years for Libya to field a capable enough army to protect its borders. Brigades No reliable estimate on the total strength of the army exists. Training camps are being organized in Benghazi, Beta and Idabia attended by thousands of men according to a report of 3 to 6 March. The opposition force taking Brega and Ras Lanif during an advance of 2 to 4 March was estimated as numbering between 500 and 1,000 men. In the Nafusa Mountains alone there are up to 2,000 rebel fighters. After being driven back to the outskirts of Benghazi, the Free Libyan Army took the offensive once more on 25 March. 
In a string of victories the rebels retook the cities of Idabia, Brega, Ras Lanif and Bin Jawad and were advancing to Sirta. However, after being in position for 48 hours, they were forced to withdraw from Bin Jawad and Ras Lanif again. The front line was then in the region of Brega and Idabia for several months, with additional front lines in Misrata and the Nafusa Mountains. In late August rebels in the east were finally able to retake Brega and several other cities closing in on Sirta. At the same time rebels in Misrata were able to push out of the city and secured all surrounding towns, and rebels in the Nafusa Mountains were able to take most of the western coastline including Tripoli itself. Each soldier has also been given an ID card with photo, name, brigade name, and their blood type. These ID cards are either in the form of paper in plastic slips or plastic cards. Some of the brigades reported on by international journalists are as follows Obeda ibn Jara Brigade, Islamic extremist militia allegedly implicated in the assassination of National Liberation Army Commander in Chief Abdul Fatah Yunus on 28 July 2011. Akba ibn Nafa Brigade – Islamic extremist militia implicated in the detention of National Liberation Army Commander-in-Chief Abdul Fatah Yunus in Brega's front on late July. Omar Mukhtar Brigade – based in Idabia and numbering 200 men and 10 trucks. Ali Hassan al-Jaber Brigade – originally in Beta, saw action during the Battle of Sirta 2011. Jabal Martyrs Brigade – based in Beta and numbering 125 men. Tripoli Martyrs Brigade, based in Beta. Battalion Libya Free, based in Beta. Beta Martyrs Brigade, based in Beta. Martyrs of Abu Salim, based in Beta. Zawiya Martyrs Brigade, based in the Nafusa Mountains, trained to take Zawiya. Shahid Brigade, based in and around Misrata, considered an elite unit in the rebel army. Misrata Brigade, based originally in Misrata, reported as based in Tripoli as of August 2011. Black Brigade, based in and around Misrata Swedi Brigade, based in and around Misrata al Horia Brigade, based in and around Misrata, garrisoning Tawarga Faisal Brigade, based on the outskirts of Z. Leiden Arise Brigade, based on the Libyan coastal highway between Misrata and Tripoli Tripoli Brigade, originally based in Nalit in the Nafusa Mountains and numbering 1,300 men it is the elite of the rebel forces and was trained to take Tripoli, where it is currently based. Abu Salim Brigade, Eastern Libya Sabratha Brigade, Nafusa Mountains, trained to take Sabratha Zuwara Brigade, Nafusa Mountains, trained to take Zuwara Martyr Wasim Kalia Brigade, Western Libya composing up to 300 fighters Coastal Brigade, based on the Libyan coastal highway between Zawiya and Tripoli Nalit Brigade, based in Nalit, Nafusa Mountains Kebab Brigade, based in the Nafusa Mountains, and Tukhtiji and Badr Jadu Brigade, based in Jadu and numbering 300 men The 28 May Brigade, based around Tripoli, composing of Warfala tribe members and trained to take Bani Walid Victory Unit, based on the road between Misrata and Bani Walid Desert Shield Brigade, liberated Sabah Zintan Brigade, fought for Sirta and during 2011 Nafusa Mountains campaign. Fursan Brigade, based in Tripoli Garyan Brigade, based in Garyan Kekka Brigade, based in Tripoli and numbering 800 fighters. Lions of the Valley Brigade, based in Misrata, fought in Sirta 11th Brigade, based in and fought in Sirta. al Giran Brigade, based in Sirta and Misrata and was responsible for the capture of Muammar Gaddafi. Khalid bin al-Walid Brigade, based in Zintan and was responsible for the capture of Saif al-Islam Gaddafi Sabah Martyrs of Libya Brigade, based near Sabah and claimed to be responsible for the capture of Abdullah Sanusi. Suppliers Egypt has been reported to be supplying the rebels with mostly small arms such as assault rifles and ammunition. France has acknowledged having sent arms to rebels in the Nafusa Mountains. These are rocket launcher, Milan anti-tank missiles and guns and ammunition that have been sent. The insurgents spokesman said on 6 May that NTC have reached an agreement with Italy to supply their troops with equipment for self-defense. 
The Polish press agency reported that unofficially the Polish government supplied the rebels with anti-tank rocket launchers and military vehicles and officers of Polish special forces in direct operations. Qatar has been reported to be supplying the rebels with various kinds of weapons including Milan anti-tank systems and AK-47 rifles as many as 400 such rifles have been estimated to have reached the rebels. Qatar has also supplied the rebels with camouflage and armored vests. Sudan supplied fighters in the Nafusa Mountains, Misrata, Kufra, and Benghazi with supplies, ammunition, and weapons such as FN FAL and AK-47 assault rifles. The United Arab Emirates had been reported to be supplying the rebels with Belgian FN FAL rifles and telecommunication network. The United Kingdom has supplied the rebel force with communication equipment and body armor in order to get the force more organized and define a central command structure. The United States is moving to provide Libyan rebels with $25 million in medical supplies, radios and other aid that would not include weapons as stated by the Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Equipment The equipment of the National Liberation Army comes primarily from abandoned army depots, Libyan military defectors notably in eastern Libya, Benghazi, Beta, and Idabia, Egyptian armed forces, France, Qatar and the United States. It is not exactly known what equipment is currently in use but reports from journalists reveal the following is in use limited in some cases as in tank and armor because of unavailability of spare parts. Topic: <laughs> Camouflage. Camouflage clothing has been provided by Qatar. Rebels have been seen in Idabia wearing the military fatigues. Topic: <laughs> Pistols. CZ99, Glock 17, Browning High Power, Beretta Model 70. FN57 Caracal F Topic Shotguns Vanelli Vinci semi-automatic shotgun Over and under shotgun Side by side shotgun Vanelli M4 Topic Submachine guns MP38 Sterling submachine gun Beretta M12 MP5SD2 FNP90 PDW Topic Carbines and rifles Zastava M93 Black Arrow anti-materiel rifle Zastava M2117 000 Assault Rifle Carcano Bolt Action Rifle Heckler & Coke G36 Assault Rifle Lee Enfield Bolt Action Rifle Car 98K Bolt Action Rifle AK-47 Assault Rifle Other variants including AKM, Zastava M70, AK-63, AK-74, AK-103, Chinese Type 56, Romanian AIM and East German MPI Assault Rifles AKS 74U Assault Carbine FN FAL Battle Rifle 1B B1 INSAS M4 Carbine Narinko CQ Assault Rifle a copy of the Colt M16 Rifle FN FAL Squad Automatic Weapon FNF2000 Assault Rifle INSAS LMG M16 Rifle Assault Rifle, HKG3 Battle Rifle 20,000 requested. <laughs> Machine guns and autocannons Zastava M02 Coyote Heavy Machine Gun M84 Light Machine Gun DP28 Light Machine Gun RPK Light Machine Gun Ultimax 100 Light Machine Gun Daewoo Precision Industries K3 Light Machine Gun PKM General Purpose Machine Gun PKT Re-Purposed as Portable Machine Guns Rheinmetall MG3 General Purpose Machine Gun FN Mag General Purpose Machine Gun M1919A4 and M1919A6 Browning 
M2 and M3.50 cal heavy machine gun mainly mounted on technicals DSHK 12.7 mm heavy machine gun mainly mounted on technicals NSV 12.7 mm heavy machine gun taken off of T72 tanks mainly mounted on technicals KPV 14.5 mm heavy machine gun mounted on technicals ZPU ZPU1 ZPU2 ZPU4 14.5 mm anti-aircraft guns mainly mounted on technicals but also on wheeled carriages Hispano Suiza HS 820 20mm naval anti-aircraft autocannon mounted on technicals ZU-23 223mm anti-aircraft autocannons mounted on technicals Griasiev Shipanov GSH-23 L 23mm twin-barreled autocannon taken off of pro Gaddafi force planes and mounted on technicals Griasiev Shipanov GSH-30-1 30x165mm autocannon taken off of pro Gaddafi force planes Romanian M1980 1988 30mm autocannon mounted on technicals AZPS 60 57mm autocannon Topic Sniper rifles OSV96 imported Dragonov SVD PSL rifle Trevello 14 5 by 114 mm and 20 mm sniper rifles captured from the pro Gaddafi forces. Topic: <inaudible> Rocket propelled missiles and grenade systems. M79 OSA shoulder launched anti-tank rocket propelled grenade RPG7 shoulder launched anti-tank rocket propelled grenade launcher RPG-26 RBM-57 Yugoslavian shoulder launched, anti-tank rocket propelled grenade launcher SAW-79 K-32 STRELA-2 Manpads 9K-11 Malyuka anti-tank missiles Milan anti-tank missiles 9M-123 Chrysantima supersonic anti-tank missiles Carl Gustav recoilless rifle SPG9 B10 recoilless rifle M40 recoilless rifle mounted on jeeps and pickups with roof and windshield cut off Type 63 multiple rocket launcher mainly mounted on technicals 122 mm multiple rocket launcher salvaged from damaged BM21 grad then divided into 3 to 8 tubes and mounted on technicals S5 rocket UB1657 UM, UB32 rocket launchers Katyusha rocket launcher mounted on technicals AGS-17 automatic grenade launcher F1 hand grenade RGD-5 An M18 smoke grenade M2 mortar M1938 mortar 122 mm howitzer 2A18 D30 130 mm towed field gun M1954 M46 155 mm towed field gun M114 howitzer Topic Vehicles T-34 at least one seized during the war and placed at the main square in Garion, according to Reuters. Current status unknown. T-55 main battle tank T-62 main battle tank T-72 main battle tank Type 59 main battle tank Centurion AVRE 105mm main battle tank, supplied by Jordan 2S1 Gvozdika 122mm self-propelled artillery Palmaria 155mm self-propelled artillery BMP-1 Infantry Fighting Vehicle BMP-2 Infantry Fighting Vehicle BMP-3 Infantry Fighting Vehicle 10 delivered from pre-revolution order. 9P-157-2 Chrysantima S. 
BMP-3 anti-tank version with supersonic 9M123 Chrysanthema at 15 system with radar and laser guidance 14 in service, 4 pre-revolution, 10 delivered in October 2013. MTLBU Armored Personnel Carrier BTR-60 Armored Personnel Carrier converted to MRLS for Type 63 Multiple Rocket Launcher M113 armored personnel carrier with ZU-23 223mm anti-aircraft autocannons mounted on top M577 command vehicle converted to infantry fighting vehicle with 2A28 Grom turret from BMP-1 mounted on top Rattel-20 infantry fighting vehicles with improvised ZPU-1 anti-aircraft gun mounted on top, supplied by Qatar E-9 Cascavel armored car, captured or salvaged by the Zawiya Martyrs Brigade in Serta An IMR armored car Humvee 200 donated by the U.S. Army in July 2013 SAW-6 Gainful SAW-8 Gecko ERM-70 multiple rocket launcher BM-21 Grad multiple rocket launcher trucks A T S-125 Neva, Pachora Technicals armed with DSHK, M2, M3, NSV, KPV, ZPU, ZU-23-2, GSH-23L, HS-820, 2A28 Grom with or without the turret taken off the BMP-1. Aircraft <inaudible> 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 MiG-21 fighter jet aircraft, one MiG-21 UM crashed after takeoff from Benina Airport due to technical malfunction. MiG-23 fighter jet aircraft, one shot down by friendly fire over Benghazi. Soko G-2 ground attack and reconnaissance. Mil-Mi-2 light armored utility helicopter. Mil-Mi-14 anti-submarine helicopter. Milmi 24 attack helicopter, transport helicopter note: both the Soko G2 and Milmi 2 were captured at Misrata Airport on the 24th of February 2011. Topic: <laughs> Unmanned aerial vehicles (UAVs). One Aryan Scout micro UAV. Topic: <laughs> Ships. One Kony class frigate 212 Al Hani. One Nanichka class corvette 416 Tariq ibn Ziyad. Two Natya class minesweeper. Topic. See also. Green resistance. Alliance of Yemeni tribes. Free Syrian army. Armed forces of the Libyan Arab Jamahiriya.